Hey cuties, I'm Lenicia and you're watching what happened on the soaps. This is the bold and the beautiful edition. <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all, it is Friday. Yay! January the 20th, 2022. 3, 2023. <laughs> Sorry. And I am excited that it's Friday. Let's get right into it. On a scale of 1 to 10, I don't know. I'm going to give it a 7. I'm going to give it a 7. Uh, let's see. We see... Okay, so they they got the they got the one here today, right? Because we've been like, I don't know why y'all bringing checking everybody over there. The only there's only one person that can change Bill's mind, and they brought her. They brought the big guns in the day. So Brooke is with Liam and Hope, right? So they're talking, and she's like, oh, my God, I can't believe he did this. Are you serious? She said, I talked to Taylor, and they said, well, you and Taylor are going really close. And she said, yeah, Taylor talked about turning herself in. I said, girl, no. She said, Stephanie and I both told her, girl, you do not need to do that, but she is so tempted to do it. I said, uh-huh, because y'all told me on the live the other night, y'all said, Taylor didn't shoot Bill. I said, what? Because y'all know I don't remember all that. Y'all have to refresh me on some things because I'm trying to catch up, like, on old episodes, you know, if you go to the Bold and the Beautiful. So I try to catch up on old episodes, but I wasn't around when this was all playing out. And y'all like, nah, Taylor didn't shoot him. I said, what? But anyways, getting back to this. So Brooke is pretty much just like, I... I can't believe he's doing this. I can't, I, you know, and y'all talked to him and, they, and Liam was like, yeah, me and Wyatt went over there. Don't pull my hair, mama. Wyatt and I went over there and he's just not, mm -mm, he was not listening to anyone. They said, even Katie went over there. I said, Katie is not the one. I mean, Wyatt and Liam, that's cute, but y'all are not the one. And they said, Steffi, okay, no, nah, it wasn't going to work. <laughs> and Taylor, this was not going to work. He's already blackmailing them. Why did y'all think Sydney and Steffi and Taylor over there was going to do anything? Katie, I could understand because you might be like, well, maybe, but we know she's not, um, she's always been second best. Wyatt and Liam, that's his kid, so you got to do it. But then they tell Brooke, they said, because she can't believe any of this. She says, oh, my gosh. And they said, she's like, he must be crazy. Like, what has Sheila done to him? She had to have done something to him. They said, well, we don't send everybody else. This is Liam, but we ain't sent you. And, <laughs> and Hope said, I don't, I mean, mama, you are the one person that could probably get through, through to him over everybody else and she's like i don't know and so they come back and she's still asking questions i said uh-uh brooke go ahead and sit take your cell phone over there to bill's place and so she's still talking to them and they're still all in shock and then finally she's like all right i'm gonna go over and they're like mm -hmm. so then we see hope and liam talking they he was like do you think it was safe to send your mama over why not everybody else went over by themselves <laughs> they're not gonna do nothing to you Bill and Sheila not gonna do nothing to you um I don't know child they might but she, he's she said yeah I don't know but they're they both say it should be okay because Bill um really does care for Brooke and he wouldn't let anything happen to her but Hope says that's your old dad this is a new man we're dealing with and then Liam starts talking right he says I can't believe she's blackmailing um he's blackmailing taylor, taylor and Steffi and finn because they had talked to brooke earlier and they had told brooke nobody knows the what the blackmail is they all think it's just you know they know they know he's blackmailing them because of taylor or you know um or something but they don't know that it's because taylor shot bill katie doesn't know that and Wyatt doesn't know that. They just know he's blackmailing. So that's why they didn't press charges. So then Liam starts thinking back, right? And he starts being like, man, I could have sworn I was the one that did it. If Taylor hadn't came forward, I said, hmm, y'all did tell me Taylor didn't shoot Bill. And now it's looking like that's going to be something that plays out about who shot Bill. Because if they have nothing on, uh, if if they have nothing on Bill, um, on if Bill has nothing on Taylor, then Steffi and Finn could testify. But would they still testify if it meant that Bill would press charge press charges against Liam? Would Bill press charges against Liam? Do y'all think he's that far gone? I don't know, child. Y'all tell me what you think. I'm just here to talk about it with you. <laughs> but I said, oh, that's interesting that they brought that up. 
you know, that it's it's still that confusion about who shot him. Because, you know, that was a murder. I mean, well, not a murder mystery, but that was a shooting mystery. Who shot him? But anyways, that's it, y'all. Let's move on. So then we see Bill with uh, Sheila and she tells him, I'm going to cut to Chase. She tells him, I know you're conflicted, you know. But he don't. But before I get to that, he asks her, are you okay? The boys were hard on you. And she goes, I can do it with it. It's okay. It's okay. You know, you know how Sheila does. And so then he tells, um, she tells him, I know you're conflicted. You know, you, all these people have come over. They've said things. I know you're feeling conflicted. If you want me to leave, I'll leave. I'll be happy. I'll be free and I'll be okay. If you want me to leave, if you don't want me here, if it's too much with your family, I'll leave. I said, notice you said, she, she said, I'm going to leave free. So that means don't your butt get, let these people blackmail me. <laughs> let me leave with my freedom still too. And so she's talking to him and asking him and he's looking down at her. She's looking at him. And then Brooke comes in. I said, so Bill just ain't going to lock his door. Okay. So Brooke comes in and baby, Sheila was like, hmm. cause she was playing mind games with Bill right there. Cause you know, Sheila wasn't really wanting to leave, but she was like, I'm going to offer it just to see where his loyalty is right now. Baby, and Brooke came through that door and Sheila knew <laughs> if there's one person that can get this man off the team, it's Brooke. So Brooke comes in and she's like, Bill, so it's true. You're together with she, everything I heard is true. And Sheila said, it depends on what you've heard. And so Brooke is at, she's talking to Bill, but Sheila is in front of Bill. Cause you know, they're in front of that little fireplace, little thing. She's in front of Bill guarding him. Cause you're not about to get to this man. <laughs> And so she's in front of him. And so everything that Brooke is saying, Sheila is um, coming back at her with the, with the answers. So Brooke is like, what are you, what are you doing here with her bill? Why is she here? I can't believe you a blackmail Steffi. What's going on? And Sheila said, what's going on is that y'all know I'm paraphrasing. What's going on is that he's found someone who loves him, who appreciates him, who wants to be with him and who never turn his back on, uh, who would never turn her back on him. Unlike you, you all. And Brooke says, I'm you and I, we could talk another time. I'm here to talk to Bill. So she go in front of Bill. I said, I don't know why you're trying to talk to Bill because he ain't going to say nothing to you. Sheila is his mouthpiece now. And so she's telling Bill, why are you doing this? Bill, I know you're hurting. I know it's, you're in a bad place and I know you feel bad and you're lonely. I've been there too, but Bill, remember when you came over to the, that, uh, that day when Ridge was getting married and you told me that I was the love of your life and you loved me and you would do anything for me. She said, do this for me. I said, but what's the reward? <laughs> y'all keep telling bill do let make her go bill but what is his reward that's what y'all are not offering him what are you offering him in return y'all just want him to do this to be a nice person bill said i was trying to be a nice person and i get, got me nowhere with y'all so what is the reward so brooke is doing her brooke thing because y'all know i don't know what she got on these men but she got it so she talking to him and she talking right to him i guess and she says, Bill, you promised you would do anything for me. And so I need you to do this for me. Get rid of Sheila. Make her go. She needs to be in prison. Baby, when Brooke told Sheila, <laughs> when Brooke told Sheila, uh, when I'll be speaking to you, um, what bars will be between us. And Sheila said, what crime have you committed? I, <laughs> I hollered. <laughs> I said, no, Sheila. Sheila gives zero cares. Mama, you are on my braids. Ow. Oh, and so then Bill starts. So Brooke is just talking to him like, you say you love me. Come on. And he says, yes, you're right. Yes, yes. And so now Sheila got the fear in her eyes. I said, baby, you better run. <laughs> you better run. But y'all know Bill not finna um, let Sheila go anywhere. So anyways, child, that was the bold and the beautiful today, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It is the weekend. Be safe. Be blessed. If you go outside, you know, just be safe and everything, but enjoy yourselves. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you uh, Monday with all new episodes of What Happened on the Soaps, the Bold and the Beautiful Edition. Goodbye.